Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap currency, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code Zerk for 5% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. Alright EA, you have one last chance, okay? The community has been asking you now for over a month, right? Other Madden YouTubers, including myself, pretty much all of us, have made videos going over this specific thing. The community's been asking for it. Golden tickets should be coming out this week. Bring back training variety packs. What's going on, guys? It's Zerk's coming at you today with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today, you know what? I hope you guys enjoyed that intro there because I have been asking for it. We have all been asking for it. And uh, training variety packs are still not in the game. However, today we will see the content schedule later this afternoon. Usually, EA puts it out, I don't know, maybe between 1, 2, noon. There's not really a set time when it comes out, but I'll make a video later today going over that. But today I wanted to come back and open up training variety packs. I hope this is the last training variety pack video that I do over here on Madden 21. Because if EA wants to make us happy, these will release in Madden 22 with golden tickets. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Peterson for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn notification on, and come down below Noti Gang. And guys, today we do have more NBA playoff games. We actually have new games today. We have the 76ers going up against the Heat, uh, and we have Dallas versus Phoenix, I believe. So, some pretty good games. So, if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code Zerk to match your first deposit up to $100, and Best Ball Mania 3 will go live later today, I do believe. The 10 million dollar prize pool tournament i think there's gonna be a couple million plus dollar winners in there so we'll see when the tournament gets released we'll see exactly what the breakdown is but it's a 10 million dollar prize pool don't miss out on it follow me over on twitter as well for my picks later today all right so let's talk about these training variety packs here we're gonna open up some of these i am over back on madden 21 uh but as i said dude like we have all been asked for these packs back okay EA, we want to see these packs. We're getting golden tickets this week. We already know that. We just don't know what day yet. That will be revealed later today, whether it's Thursday or Friday or whatever. But for those guys that didn't play Madden 21, which there are some of you guys that know on the channel, if you don't know about training variety packs, these packs are so good and they're so much fun and they only cost 2,500 training points. But in the packs, you either get a power up player, a 90 plus overall Redux player, an 83 plus overall legend, 82 plus overall team of coin quick sell, or an alternate uniform. However, you could also pull golden tickets. Okay, so the price of them right there, you know, Joey Bosa, 900 training. Okay, so we lost a little bit of training points there. However, as I said, you can get Reduxes out of this pack. You can get Coin Quick Sells out of this pack. You can get Team Uniforms, whatever, and as well GTs, right? So with Golden Tickets coming out this week, this is a pack that we want to see back because of how good it was for pulling Golden Tickets. It really, really made them cheap, right? Now, Golden Tickets last year were not that great, to be honest, in terms of uh, how much EA really juiced them up. And I think that's one difference we'll see this year because stats this year are just so so good already on cards that i really feel like ea is going to juice up these golden ticket players and they're going to make them really good which scares me for will they return the training variety packs because i don't know if they will i i don't know if they will make these training variety packs come back because maybe they want to keep the golden ticket price kind of high or whatever but you can pull golden tickets out of this pack you can actually still like today you can come back and open up this pack right here and you can pull golden tickets out of this and i love the training variety pack everybody loved the training variety pack because of as i said keeping the market lower and pulling golden tickets it's just a fun fun pack and it doesn't cost too much to open up just the 2500 training points which right now training is below two per so i mean this is like 5,000 coins or less if they released this and it was 2,500 training uh in madden 22 to one of this pack it would literally cost us all like less than 5,000 coins a pack to open now given i do think maybe they would change up the pack a little bit maybe they would make the price different uh just kind of change some things around i wouldn't be shocked with that so we'll see if it does actually release however there's one thing i want to point out okay you guys notice this with every single big promo that is actually released in madden 22 pretty much every single promo there's a you know exception of a couple but for the majority of big promos with big rollouts and everything like that right 
there are always rerolls of some sort, okay? Now, golden tickets are a little bit different because, you know, they're only 99 overalls. They are, you know, 89 plus overall packs, whatever. But in order to get the limiteds, in order to get the higher overall cards, whatever, EA has kind of dropped reroll packs of some sort to kind of keep you engaged with the promo, right? So why not drop training variety packs where you can actually pull golden tickets out of them as well? See what I'm saying? So I think that is a possibility. And I mean, it's all just a hope and a prayer. But to be honest, even if we're getting go uh, training variety packs, I don't think necessarily that uh, they would be on the content schedule later today. I don't think it would say golden tickets training variety packs. I, I doubt they, they would put that there because they've never, from my recollection, uh, just threw onto their packs that are coming out. So I don't think they would put the pack necessarily on there unless they wanted to tease it because it is really, really hype right now. Everybody's talking about it. So EA, make us happy and drop the training variety pack, which if you guys are watching this video and this is like your first time ever seeing training variety packs, right now you're seeing me rip all of these and you're thinking, nah, we don't need these because these are not that good. But I promise these packs were really, really good back in Madden 22 and right now I am just not having the best luck. However, I do hope that they do come out that you could pull like ultimate legends out of them as well because here's the thing, with training variety packs when they come out, I mean that's just that's pretty much it right like these are the packs that you're probably going to open up for the rest of the year these were the packs that everybody just stuck to uh i don't know if ea necessarily lost money with pushing out these packs because like people still bought bundles and everything but this was the main pack and you have to think as well with it containing training it also kind of raises the value of pretty much everything in the market as you get a redux here finally it's something decent 91 overall junior sayow and that's kind of the thing right it's almost like pro fantasy packs like i've talked to you guys about the entire year of pro fantasy packs right you can open up 10 pro fantasy packs and they're 14k each spend 140k let's say only make back 100k okay but on that 15th pack if you do a 15th uh, pro fantasy pack and you get a 200,000 coins well you just made a ton of profit and that's kind of the thing with these training variety packs you're opening them up we get 89 overall Dak prescott right there so with that one we do make training but with a lot of these pulls you might only make a thousand training or 1500 training back whatever but then you get a couple good pulls with some reduxes whatever and you're gonna break even maybe even make a little bit of training just off the regular pulls and then you're truly just going for that gt so i'll do a couple more packs here but you know what it's monday morning there's not much going on in madden 22 uh, until we get that content schedule later today and i thought i'd have a little bit of fun hop on over here have a little fun video do some training variety packs let me know down below what you guys are up to today though on this fine monday morning as we get a 2000 coin quick sell right there ea do the right thing do the right thing release this pack let us have some fun and uh please juice up gts do not make golden tickets like bad in any way shape or form i'm really really hoping they're good and we should also get the golden ticket player list this week as well i'm not sure what day that would happen on but maybe today maybe maybe tuesday wednesday whatever i know ea's first stream of the week is uh, on wednesdays so that's kind of when i would expect to see the list there maybe they'll just tweet it out randomly at night one of these days but who knows? Hope you guys enjoyed the video though. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on it. And of course, hit that sub button down below. This wasn't exactly the best, uh, hey, if you haven't seen these packs before, they're really good video because right now, not really pulling much. But also, if you guys remember my pack luck for Madden 20 with golden tickets, it was terrible. It took me forever to pull GT. Madden 21, everybody pulled like 10 plus golden tickets because of this pack. So if you want to have fun, if you want to pull a lot of GTs, Ask for EA to release this pack. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.